Hey, Tom here from MakerPad, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your first multi step zap. So, in the previous video to this series, we actually created our first zap, which looked at a type form and then notified us in Slack once there was a new response. So, now we're going to turn this single step zap into a multi step zap. So, if you go to your zaps or if you're creating a new zap from scratch, open up your zap and you can see anywhere where there is a plus icon, you can add another step to your zap. So maybe you're actually creating quite a complex workflow and you needed to watch for a trigger, complete an action and then send a notification to somebody else or perform another action like a file upload or a share or a tweet or something like that. So for this case, we've had a new entry in Typeform, we've sent a direct message in Slack we're going to add another function, which is going to create a card within Trello to notify the team that something needs to be done. So maybe in this case, somebody's applied to host a MakerPad meetup. So we want to create a card to let the team know to follow up with them. So we want to create a card and press continue. Again, we've chosen the app, we've chosen the action event press continue. If we sign into our Trello account, we choose a board, choose a list. In the name, we can select the new entry name from Typeform. And then in the description, you can add any details you want. Maybe we want to put in some contact details from here as well. So we add in the number and the email address from our Typeform. If you wanted to get more advanced with Trello, you can add labels, add custom labels, position the card anywhere in your board, create a due date, add attachments, checklists, etc. We're going to keep it nice and simple, and then press continue. Then to test this, just press test and continue. Zapier will then go and actually create that card containing the information we've just given it. And if it's successful, you'll see a nice green tick here. And then press done. And now you have your first multi-step zap. To set this as active, we just go and turn this zap on. And now every time somebody creates a new submission in your type form, you'll get notified in Slack and then a new card will be created in Trello. Hope that helps and look forward to seeing what multi-step zaps you create. Bye.